morning, ladies and gentlemen. In the words of the legendary management consultant and writer Peter Drucker, he said the best way to predict the future is to create it. Today's evening raises a toast to the scores of young men and women across India who are passionately engaged in doing just that, creating the future. Absolutely. Living as we do in times of epochal and transformative change, these are people who are leading from the front, whose ingenuity has the potential to alter the very course of history. When we launched CNBC TV 18's Samsung Innovation Quotient a few months ago, we set out to look for inventions and innovations that addressed a social need, impacted livelihoods and change lives. We in fact were in pursuit of those entrepreneurs who are quietly innovating in India's grassroots powered by ideas that are both scalable and sustainable. Let's begin by welcoming on stage Senthil Chengalvarain, President and Editorial Director, TV18 Business Media for the opening address. Let's hear it for Senthil. In a little while from now, me and uh, four other gentlemen will have to choose, we'll be asked to do something very, very, very difficult. We'll be asked to choose a winner among people who have come up with such amazingly innovative ideas. So we're very, very proud to be associated with Samsung for this innovation contest on development. And we thank you all once again for being with us this evening. And I'd especially like once again to welcome all the people who will be presenting before us in the next uh, one and a half hours. So you're going to hear some really amazing stories because I've seen those presentations. They're really amazing. Thank you very much. It gives me great pleasure to invite Mr. J.S. Chin, President and CEO, Samsung Southwest Asia, to join us on stage and share his thoughts with us. Mr. Chin. Distinguished guests and members of the media, good evening. And a warm welcome to all of you. Samsung Innovation Quotient, in partnership with CNBC, was created under the aegis of Samsung Hope Project, our CSR initiative, to promote innovation that benefit the Indian community at large. The theme of Samsung Innovation Quotient is innovation for development, and as a brand, the pride itself on its innovation product, we are very happy to create the platform in the forms of the Samsung Innovation Caution that give recognition to the most innovative minds across the nation. I am very pleased with the response that we got from innovators across the country. Innovation from different fields like healthcare, education, transport, energy, environment, agriculture. Innovation knows no boundaries and we did not try to set any limit for this program either. My sincere thanks to all the innovators who participate in this program and to all of you for joining us today and supporting this initiative. Thank you very much once again. Thank you, Mr. Shin. Our next speaker this evening is a true champion of the underprivileged. He's an engineer and he's a renewable energy entrepreneur with extensive grassroots experience. Please welcome Managing Director and Co-Founder Selco India, Dr. Harish Hande. A lot of times when you use the word innovation, we mostly think of technology. And that is something that is not true if we have to look at real India. And if you look at real India of 600 million people who don't have access to energy services, who don't have clean water drinking, just plain and simple technology innovation is not going to make those 600 million people out of poverty. That's not going to happen in our country. The beauty of, that, of our country is that India is a paradox, a paradox of an overdeveloped and an underdeveloped country. That means you have a lot of opportunities for innovation. But innovation has to be thought about very holistically. We can be the superpower of creating appropriate business models, technology models, finance models that the continent of Africa and Latin America can follow and we become the superpower of innovations for the poor. Rather than becoming a superpower showing to Europe and US, those one billion people have got what they wanted. It's a question, we have to have a paradigm shift of creating business models for the four billion people and we are the right country. Where else in the world do you have 40,000 rural financial institutions? Nowhere in the world, in, especially in the developed. Why don't we use that power of that 
having the poor, having such of development, having institutes combined, we become the capital of innovation for the world and that is the superpower. I really, it's not this whole 8% ridiculous growth we all talk about, 1, 600 million. So we all need to look at very carefully what does innovation in our country actually means. And so finally I would say, when you have to do innovations, please look at innovations not for the poor, but by the poor and by poor are partners and not plain and simple beneficiaries. And then we will be the real innovative country for the rest of 4 billion. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity.